Everybody ready? Anybody need more time? All right. The Chicago Police Department Organized Crime Bureau brought to light a clear and imminent threat posed by drug and gun dealers who secretly use Facebook to fuel the engine of gun violence here in Chicago. We were made aware of secret groups that knowingly operate within Facebook. CPD informant had told police officers that narcotics and weapons were being regularly sold using these covert groups. The bottom line is that offenders are emboldened by the privacy afforded by Facebook. This has created a thriving market where guns and drugs are priced high and sold fast. CPD has been able to infiltrate seven of these groups in the latest operation, resulting in 147 undercover buys. Facebook often cites privacy concerns when they're confronted with the facts of our investigation. The truth is Facebook is harboring criminals. These criminals know how to use the privacy Facebook affords them, and they profit from the sale of illegal drugs and dangerous guns. Facebook allows public groups where anyone can search and find a group's profile, membership, posts, and items for sale. But there are also two types of private groups, those which are visible and those which are hidden. Similar private posts have sprung up within Facebook's encrypted messenger service as well. Facebook claims to monitor these groups, but CPD detectives have labeled these private hidden sites as a version of the dark web that is more accessible to everyday users. CPD's latest investigation into Facebook groups concluded last night with the arrest of four individuals who use these groups to sell drugs and guns. The overall operation netted four handguns, two shotguns, and one high-powered rifle. So the people who are doing the illegal acts under their own identities, uh, Facebook doesn't shut them down. But when they find out that there's officers operating undercover with covert identities, Facebook will shut those officers down.